Hello. So I'm in my flat. I have been here for like two days. It's Monday night. My mum has just left. She was helping me like redecorate sort of and just get the flat ready for the year because yeah, obviously if you've watched my last video, you know what kind of happened at the start of summer. So yeah, because I kind of wanted to like change it up in here and like make it different because what it looked like before actually gave me the fear because this is where the sort of mental breakdown started. It was just bad vibe. Now that it's like all done up and ready to go, it's so much better and it's like I'm in a new flat so it actually makes such a difference. I just thought I'd start a wee video. I'm just gonna have to do like sort of like living alone videos. Just thought it'd be nice to like speak to the camera when I'm kind of on my own and I'm bored. Just sort of like take you along with my life. Really just get back to doing what I love and like maybe find some things that I love and like just find a new place in Glasgow and go and visit them like on my own and I'm just gonna live my best life. Tomorrow is like my first like full day back on my own after like since like April after everything's happened. So and I've got a nice wee day planned actually. I've got so much the next two weeks I've got so much planned and like I'm so excited. So excited. I actually go home on Saturday for a few nights. Um because I'm going on a big night out with my, my mum and dad and my three sisters. <laughs> my two sisters, sorry. Because my my little sister moves to Edinburgh on Sunday. So we're having like a last wee night out. We're having dinner and then we're going to Lofts in Perth. Um, so that'll be so funny. I'll come back here um, the next Tuesday because I've got a psychiatrist appointment on Tuesday. So I've got to be at home for that. So that's really fun. I'll pick up the camera again tomorrow when I'm having a wee day to myself and it'll be fun because I can take the camera along with me and like actually have someone to talk to. That sounds really sad. I swear I actually do have friends. Okay, so it's now a wee bit later. It's now half ten and the night has like taken a, taken a swift Swift change and plans will change for tomorrow. Well, they haven't changed. I'm still going to try and do what I'm doing tomorrow, but I might be going on like a like a little date, right? Just we one. I don't. I don't even call it a date. I don't know, but like I'm kind of scared, and now I'm need to bed. But like I'm it's just too much going on in my brain. I think I'm going on a date, or just like meeting up. So tomorrow we'll do like a wee cute get ready with me sort of vibe see how I'm feeling tomorrow but I, I, it's nothing like serious but hmm oh my god I don't know like I'll let you know how it gets on that like how it went after okay hello no I said I was gonna do a get ready with me today but I forgot so So it is now Tuesday the 7th of September and it is quarter to 11 Um, I'm just getting ready just now to film like my sort of like opening up a mental health video. Sorry that door's open. My opening up a mental health video. I don't actually really know how it's going to go. It'll already be up on this channel by the time, by the time this is up so give that a wee watch. I'm kind of nervous to film it like I just don't know what I'm planning on saying like I'm just kind of planning on starting the camera and just kind of speaking so if you guys watch it then I hope that like I hope you enjoyed it enjoyed it's probably not the right word it's probably just like I hope like it helped you in some way or like made you feel not so alone or maybe just maybe it was just interesting to hear like what could happen like with mental illness and how you overcome it or I don't know I really don't know what I'm going to talk about but I'm just hoping that it's like all right to watch and not like just so depressing I'm absolutely sweating like so I think so I'm getting ready to film my like mental health video and then I am going to go chat shopping on my own <laughs> scary got a fly next Friday which is exciting I need to try and get a um, a Saturday ticket because I really really don't think one day's enough like the first day is always good and then you're like oh, I just need one more day I'm absolutely sweating like absolutely sweating so it's great so I keep getting sidetracked so I'm going I'm doing that video and then I'm going to check shopping and then I'll show you what I bought and then maybe doing a day I don't know I don't know if we're calling it a day I'm not I don't want to call it a day but like 
is the only word for it really. Okay, so I'm now ready to go to town. I just sat and filmed my like mental health video and I was crying a wee bit so I had to start the face out a little bit but I'll show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this nasty gal maxi dress, it's sort of button in the middle, these big cuts are very low, I wish they were kind of more like this because like it just shows a lot and when you're sitting down it's a bit, a bit awkward. I'm not really sure how long that's going to stay up there for, I reckon five seconds. I'm going to shopping, it's half one. Oh my god, ah, kill me now. Kill me now. Oh, that's good. Okay, back to business. Okay, I'm sweating. I just had to parallel park in like the middle of Glasgow and I'm literally on the curb. Are you allowed to park on the curb? Like a wee bit on the curb? I don't know. Am I going to get arrested? Yeah, I'm actually quite nervous to go out on my own. What am I sweating? I hate sweating. I always sweat. So, <sighs> I'm going. I'm going. Never again. I'm never going to touch town again. I'm sweating out every pore in my whole entire existence, like dripping. And to drop it off, I was literally, that, that's been about half an hour since I last vlogged because there was absolutely fuck all. There was nothing. There was absolutely nothing in the shops. There was only about five as well, and I thought there'd be millions. So I'm disappointed. So it's actually like a wee bit later now. I just came back and had some lunch and then went to go edit the video I did this morning and I can't, like, like maybe like 40 minutes of clips are not there. So, great. Don't know what I'm gonna do about that one, but that's the problem for tonight. But first, I'm going on a date. Okay. <laughs> kind of nervous now, I wasn't, I, I've not thought about it all day, I've been quite busy and Last night I was just like, yeah, let's just go. And now I'm like, oh my God, is that just gonna happen? Looking forward to it, but I don't know what to wear because like, I was absolutely sweating when I was out today. So I'm like, I don't want to feel like that again. Mm, oh my God. Guys, I'm going on a date. And I look ridiculous. Like I look so ridiculous. I have the worst outfit on ever. I'm literally wearing denim shorts and a big baggy t-shirt. Like what, what? So like high 30 degrees outside. I just have to be in my comfort zone. I have a sore tummy because I'm so nervous. I'm just not ready to speak. I've not spoke to anyone all day apart from the camera. Oh my god. Right. It's the next day. I'm I'm sweating like there's no tomorrow. Not only is it 27 degrees, but I've just uploaded that mental health video and I'm scared. So many people, I can't believe the response. God, I wasn't expecting anyone to message me, but like people were sending me a paragraphs, like actually spending their time to send me a message. Oh my god, thanks so much. And I only just uploaded it, so oh my god. It just makes me so scared the fact that like that story's out there, but I hope it's just not, it wasn't just a big ramble for y'all. Like I hope it actually made sense and like you can build a picture in your head of like what was happening, like, like a movie, you know? But, or like, like a book. I don't know. I really hope you guys like enjoyed enjoyed it I don't know if that's the right word but like it helped people because I'm just so desperate to help people like I th literally the whole time I've been going through this I'm like I just want like to help at least one person make them feel better because like I just needed people to make me feel better and people did make me feel better oh so I'm not up and I'm just like oh but I'm like happy so last night I went on my date. We went for a walk. We went like for a walk like around Glasgow. And then we went to Loch Lomond and it was lovely. It was sunset. And we went for a walk around there. And yeah, it was lovely. Great guy. Really, really lovely. Tonight I'm going out. I'm going out. I'm so excited. So my little sister's coming. And 
Anna Cohen and Alex Ray are coming and they're flatmates I think and they're coming here and they've never been here so that's really exciting. So excited. Like I, 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 I washed my hair yesterday and I'm gonna have to wash it again because I'm sweating so much. Like I'm so, I'm so sweaty and I'm gonna be so hot tonight. Like it's 27 degrees today. It's probably even hotter. Like I've not actually been outside today. I went outside for a minute, I went to go buy some flowers, but that's the only time I've been outside. I can't imagine actually how I'm going to feel tonight on night out, but that's not going to stop me from dancing. I'm in the mood for some loud music and a wee vodka diet coke and a dance. Like, does that not just sound like the best thing? Maybe not the vodka diet coke, because that seems to appeal to no one else apart from me. Like, that's like my dream and like everyone else is like, ew, you drink vodka diet coke. I literally know like one person that drinks that, actually two. So there's three of us. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to wear tonight. I ordered... Really nice dresses off Nasty Gal on Monday. I was like, oh, next day delivery. I'll come on Tuesday. It's Wednesday now. So I was like, oh, perfect. Looked looked at yesterday and I was like, oh, that's his up to five working days. I was like, fuck, I picked the wrong delivery. So I was like, oh, I'll just buy them again and select next day delivery. Select next day delivery. Email. Oh, five working days. So I've got two orders coming in five working days. Too late. So I was like, Holly, you better bring your whole wardrobe because I need something to wear. I really hope Holly pulls through. We're going to Rumour in Glasgow and Rumour, if anyone knows, is just the best place ever. And obviously I've not been since like last year and it's just always a good time. It's just always a good time. And I think I need a coffee because I woke up at nine this morning, which is actually really early for me. I wake up at about 11 every day. Like my pills knock me out. And then... I need a shower. I desperately need a shower. That is like top of the priority list. You're like really bald. It's about a hundred degrees. It has to be done. So we just thought we don't want humid hair when it's down. You might have humid. You actually look like that when it goes up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're the we're Glasgow the, squad, guys. We're the two we're friends, friends that and in Glasgow. you're going to be seeing loads of us. We're well, excited to go out. We're going out tonight, Aye. guys. And we're so excited. Lucy's really drunk. <laughs> Alice is really drunk. We're going to insert a clip of... Oh, I'm taking it too fast. Um, everyone should... It's vodka. I don't want to spew in your carpet. Can you go in the kitchen? Do you want this to... Okay, right. There's the kitchen. There's the kitchen. Okay, fine. I'll do a platter. <laughs> that wasn't enough. Fuck off, have... Lucy. Are you doing one? <laughs> wow. This is not my angle. <laughs> <laughs> one bit. Oh, I love your laugh. <laughs> Here's Holly. Do you it over you do you turn it off? Do you turn it off? Don't 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 I'll never drink you again. My head is so sore. Great, great night though. Great night. I went to sleep at like half four and it's eight, eight o'clock now. So I've had three and a half hours sleep. I literally hear like people leaving their flat to go to work. And I'm like, I'm actually quite jealous that you don't feel like how I feel right now. I need to go back to sleep. I don't feel as dead anymore. Um, thank God, I honestly didn't think I was going to pull through this morning, but I managed. It's now two o'clock and I've literally just been sitting doing nothing, like that's it. Like I was feeling a wee bit sick, but now that's subsided and we are feeling fresh. Um, I just want to say like, I can't believe how many people like, I watched that video that I made about mental health. I, I actually can't believe it. People are like saying that I'm brave and I'm like, what? I just really hope it helps some people but so many people have messaged me like I actually can't believe it I actually can't believe it and I need to actually sit now and go through them all like people are send, taking the time to send me like proper paragraphs and stuff if you've messaged me or watched the video like thank you so much and I hope that it wasn't like really depressing to watch but I was kind of like do I be as honest as that but I was like what's the point of making the video I'm not gonna like be honest and just kind of say it how it is. Like I'm literally so overwhelmed by the lovely messages I've been getting. And because honestly, I can't stress enough, like people who understand how I felt will understand that hearing people's stories that I've got through it, are, it's actually like, it keeps you going. It like literally saves your life. Like 
it genuinely saves your life. I don't know, I feel like this might be a little bit of a boring vlog because I've literally not, you've not been outside the flat, like, that's so boring. I've, I've literally just been like, I'm gonna go do this, see ya, you know what I mean? So, yeah, but I think I'll just upload it anyway because there might be a few wee bits are interesting, I don't know. It's like two o'clock now, I'm going to the cinema tonight with my sister and her boyfriend. <laughs> Third wheeling. But, oh my god, last night was so sweaty. So sweaty. Disgusting. I was literally dripping. Oh, I was looking at all my friends and I was like, not, not, not even a bead of sweat was coming off their heads. And I was like, I'm literally glistening from the high heavens. Like, I look like a disco ball. I normally like the glowy look. But last night, I could catch myself in the mirrors. If anyone's been to rumour, there's mirrors all around that place. And I was like, do I look like that? Do I actually look like that? That's actually, that's criminal. I should be kicked out for being so shiny. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really notice myself. So I'm just like sitting. My sister's literally just left to go back home. So... I'm literally just staring into space, like I don't even know anymore. Oh my god, I am like going through um, meshes now and I literally can't believe how many people feel the same, like it's actually, or have felt the same or been through similar situations, like it's actually so sad, like, like it's just really not talked about enough and mental health or like mental mental illness should i say is literally the most debilitating thing ever is that the word i don't know um like it's just so awful and i honestly would not wish up on my worst enemy like i would honestly do anything to take that like pain away from people like if they feel like that i would I'd honestly do anything to make them feel better because no one deserves that and it just makes me so sad, sad and like it's literally people that you would never ever think to feel like that feel like that like never you'd never think that they feel like that and they're like oh yeah like the, the, last year i the same thing happened to me and i'm like oh my god I'm, like you would never have known you would never have known like i'm already crying at the first like 10 just really hope that these people are feeling better now and that they never feel like that again. But they're just taking a quick refreshment break. I'm going to make a wee iced latte. God, what I like. I just got my coffee that I make and then I just put it in the fridge so that it's nice and cold because I, I hate when it's like lukewarm. Like that's just. Oh. But I got these wine glasses from. Um, Ikea the other day, they're like one pound fifty, and they're the best. Like honestly, it just makes your ice ice coffee just look better. And sometimes when things are in a nicer glass, they taste better. Does anyone agree? Like I'm the same with like mugs. I have to have specific mugs, otherwise I'm just not bothering. Like if my favorite mugs are dirty in the, in the dishwasher, then I'll just not be having a cup a coffee. Like I just won't. I will be waiting for my mug to be clean. I'm gonna put a wee bit of vanilla in there. No joke, I'm actually never drinking again. I I just I'm just can't I just can't. Just can't do it anymore. It's too old for this. Oh no, I'll tit. Not the best one I've made. But it's fine. It will give me the boost that I need. Let's retreat back to the living room because that's where I will be sitting all day. I just slept for hours and I'm literally so late to the cinema but I have to eat. So yeah, I'm going to go to the cinema tonight to see Our Ladies. It's, it looks really good. It kind of looks like Wild Child but it's set in Scotland. It's set in Edinburgh. That's so exciting. I've been wanting to see it for so long. Was that a joke? I think I've just been pranked. Anyone has seen Our Ladies? What was that? What was that? I've never laughed so much in my life at like, the movie wasn't funny. Like it was just, unless you've seen it, you won't understand. I can't believe what I've just, what I've just witnessed. Katie and Georgia region, cause that was my recommendation and it was, I, I can't explain it. It was so weird. It was like, oh, so weird.
Good morning. It is Friday now. Oh my god, am I actually gonna upload this video? I don't think I look nice ones in this video. Who cares? It's fine. So what is my hair? I actually need to sort it. Like, what do we think? Do we think I should get it cut again to like really short like I used to have it or should I let it grow and also like I cut bangs in like April and now they're like grown out so should I get them again I'm kind of thinking I want them for fly I just want them for fly and then I don't want them so it's probably really stupid oh my god so much of my hair is falling out so I'm just getting ready to go to Glasgow Fort which is like um sort of like an outdoor shopping centre. It is literally the best thing ever. It's like five minutes away from my flat. And the cinema was there last night and we quickly went to H&M before it just to return some things. And oh my god, there was so much good stuff. So I'm going back today to retrieve all that. But I woke up and I was in my overdraft, so. Okay, so I'm now ready to go shopping. So I'll show you what I'm wearing. It's not very exciting. I'm literally just wearing like a sage racer back, shirt, blazer, pair of denim shorts, my docks and my fake Louis Vuitton bag. Okay, so it's time for a little mini haul. I didn't actually get as much as I thought I was gonna get. Like, I only bought like three things in H&M and then there was nothing in Zara. I mean, the stuff was nice, but I just didn't need anything. So, first thing is these little knitted like sage shorts. I thought they were quite nice. I just thought like, these with like a racer back and then the like cream blazer that I was wearing today would be quite nice. I got these on sale for £8. Not bad and I got them in a size medium. I got this. I had to copy Anna. She's got this. It's like a v-neck midi dress. It was in the sale for £11 from £20 and I got it in a size medium. I just think this with... Well, Anna wears it with a big, uh, oversized, like, a leather jacket and just, like, my docks and a wee, a wee handbag would be nice. I got this dress, which is very, it's not very me, but, like, the racer back sort of style, like, the neckline's very me. And I just thought it would be just handy for a wee night out with, like, a black blazer and my docks. I just thought it would be quite nice. So yeah, this wasn't the sale, but it was only twelve ninety nine, and I got that in a size medium also. So yeah, that's all I got. I was actually like, I went with the intention of like buying everything, but there was just like not that much. Okay, so I just th thought I would take you on a quick flat tour. So you come in the front door to the hall, and all the rooms lead off from this hall. And to the right we have the kitchen, which is all grey and I've got all like duck egg blue appliances, is that the word? I love this coffee machine, like I literally use it like five times a day. Yeah, so that's my kitchen, got a wee blackboard there. I usually write like what I'm gonna eat throughout the week on there. And yeah, so that's my wee kitchen, I love it. So, so cute. And as you come out the kitchen and turn to your right again, there is the living room. Um, me and mum actually just did this feature wall last week. It's actually just so cute, I love it. And I've got like the the blanket to match and the cushions. I think the cushions are from eBay and the blanket's from Amazon. And then my mum actually knitted me this, this blanket, which I love. And I got this chair the other day from Dunelm. I'm literally obsessed, like I love it so much because it matches like the teal sort of colors throughout the wallpaper. And I got a plant the other day. I've wanted a plant for so long. So I got a piece of lily from Ikea. And then I've got a wee like bar cart thing which I got from my old flatmates for my 21st birthday. And I just, I love it. So cute. And oh, over here, Anna Cowan, my, one of my friends that was here the other night, bought me these flowers for like putting up my mental health sort of video, which was so nice. So thank you, Anna, for that. So yeah, this is my living room. I spend 90% of my time in here. I'm just constantly sitting on that sofa. So literally every time I vlog, I'm probably at that sofa or at that chair doing my makeup. Like that's literally my life. And then this do big door here is just a big cupboard. And then you come through here and we have the bathroom. Got a big mirror from HomeSense. It's actually huge. I don't know if you can actually tell how huge that is. But it's so big. And just got a few 
few decorations, pretty minimal in here actually. Very basic, big, big bath actually. It's actually huge, so that's ideal. But then you come in here and this is my, this is my bedroom. Um, so yeah, I've just got my big wardrobe here. It's literally huge. And then I've got a big mirror and I got this sign which says Missy, obviously. <laughs> from my uncle for my 25th birthday and it's actually the best thing ever. If anyone knows me, I actually, because when I was like 18, 19, I started a fashion Instagram and I called it Missy Morris. And I just wish I was called Missy. Like that's my, I just love, and I love it how that site says Missy because I really want to start like, maybe like a wee fashion brand at some point and it would be called like Missy Studios or something like that. and. And I just imagine like having an office and that being up there, like it's my dream. And then it's just my bed. I just got these new cushions to kind of go with like the green sage sort of look, but also match the Missy sign. And then obviously my teddies, the love of my life. And then I just got these prints from Shein. There's actually three of them, but I only bought two frames. So I just picked those two because I thought the colors went quite well with the room. And then these little shelves are just from, just from B&M and just got random decorations. This plant's dying, but I'm just not throwing it away because surely it'll, like, someday it'll just come back to life. And then I've got a big pile of Vogue and Tatler magazines, um, because I got subscriptions for my 21st birthday. And then over here, I just have a little chest of drawers. I love the chest of drawers. It's, like, really retro. And we a wee mirror. And then as you come out here, and turn to the left. This is the spare room. Oh my god, the lights are going crazy. But um, this is where I'm gonna start doing my uni work because I had been doing my uni work. I had been doing my uni work in the living room and then I was eating my meals in the living room. I was trying to chill out in the living room. Like everything was always in the living room. So I want to be able to do like nine to five, Monday to Friday in here do my work and then just like close the door at the end of the day and close the door at the weekend and just forget about it and just like leave my laptop in here because every time I see my laptop it literally makes my heart like jump for a minute because I'm like ooh like that thought of actually opening that and writing essays makes me want to die. Yeah the desk is like this and I've got a matching chest of drawers um, where I just keep my gym clothes and my bikinis and stuff so basically all the stuff I don't use <laughs> and then this is the bed I just got I just got these three front pillows from Shein, she, Shein, from Shein, and then the two back ones from Asda. And then there's a wardrobe here, and then here is just another cupboard and another cupboard. There's literally so much storage in this flat, and obviously because I live on my own, I literally have every cu cupboard to myself. It's just <laughs> the little things in life, you know? So yeah, that's my wee flat and I hope you like it. It's really cute, I just love it so much. That's the end of this first like living alone diaries vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't really know what, what's in it, but I'm away to edit now and hopefully get it out very soon. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye.